an example for anybody who's kind of in that position in life where they're, they're struggling to get into employment or turn the page. It gave me back my identity. Having work meant that I had the independence of purchasing things, making more decisions, having options for more decisions. I'm Carl Robert Nimis. I work for Chipotle Mexican Grill. We help our participants uh, find jobs, and so someone will get referred to us and I will work with the participant based on their needs. I started working at Goodwill in January of 2010, and I met Carl that February through an employment training class. He had been released from state prison in Chicago. He came in to meet with me a couple of times, and we just kind of had to figure out what he was going to be able to do. Carl came in, told me, hey, I can, I can demonstrate my skills, I can show you what I can do if you don't believe me. And I could see right away that he had some of the natural kitchen skills that come with years and years of experience. I do prep work, I do a lot of cleaning dishes. Uh, every once in a while I help on the grill and work on the line a little bit, which is where they serve the food. We meet people where they're at the best we can. And Carl is the first and only blind person to work for the company. I use hearing, use smell. Basically, I use my brain. He uplifts everybody else around him and uh, challenges them to, to live better every day, not just do their job, but, you know, because I'm not blind and I, I feel like he's challenged me to be a better person every day. Every day he's got a set number of tasks he has to complete, but at least half of his effort every day is in just helping others finish their jobs, teaching them better techniques, better ways to do things. He constantly talks about keeping high standards. He always talks about giving effort and training, and uh, that's what he loves to do, is training people, and everybody wants to listen. Everybody wants to listen to the guy who, who can do it better than them. That's how I got my fingers curled. Why I don't cut myself. I actually like teaching others how to use a knife, how to make sauces faster, how to get done on time. It's not about necessarily where you came from or what your, you know, what your, your background is. Are you the right type of person for this company? And he is. And I've worked with hundreds of people that do this. He is the hardest worker I've ever seen at trying to get a job. Now when we talk, uh, it's mostly about him becoming a leader. Carl wants to be a manager at Chipotle, and so we spend most of our time uh, working on his communication skills and how he can, how can he improve on, on his leadership ability. He's exactly what we need in any leadership spot. He's always looking for ways to improve and adapt and grow. He really does believe in paying it forward, you know. So the help he's got from Goodwill is something that he wants to continue to do as long as he's able. I don't want to be identified as Kyle the ex-felon. I am Kyle Nimitz, restaurateur in training.